A few years ago, I had sort of an epiphany about what actually happens underwater. Uh, I realized that people are making films about the marine environment where sharks are attacking this and whales are attacking and everybody's attacking and killing everybody. And, and I think the audience thinks that that's what it's like underwater, that it's just a kill or be killed, big fish eat little fish constantly type environment. And the epiphany I had was that after 50 years of diving, how infrequently I actually saw natural predation. It's something I very seldom see. If you do 100 dives, you'll probably never see natural predation in the ocean. But what you will see on almost every dive is cooperation between species. You'll see symbiosis over and over and over again. That is really important for the survival of various species. You need cleaning stations, so you need one type of fish that cleans the parasites off another type of fish. Symbiotic relationships are what really power the ocean's ecosystem. So this film celebrates those real life secrets of the sea. I think probably the, the most exciting sequence in the film for me is the blue whale sequence. And of course, I carry all this baggage into looking at a, at a film that I've made and it's the memories of what we had to do to get the sequences. And the blue whale sequences was extremely difficult. It took many years. We actually started shooting the blue whale stuff maybe as long as 10 years ago. And every year we would go out and try to get shots of, of whales and there'd be something wrong. It was too rough on the surface. The krill wasn't there. Uh, water wasn't clear enough. And to actually get those shots just took years and years to get what amounts to about 40 seconds of footage. If there's one thing that giant screen films do really well, it's immerse the audience in absolutely beautiful images. In the case of a blue whale, you actually get to see something on screen that's practically as big, maybe even bigger than the actual whale. So seeing this in a giant screen theater will give you a real feel for the scale of these enormous animals. I'm very honored to join everyone on Secrets of the Sea because ever since I was a little girl, I've always been fascinated with the ocean and all the beautiful creatures that exist in there. And for me, it's, it's a constant connection to the mystery of life. You think you know all that's out there and then something else comes up. It's magical. Working with Joelle was a delight because she brings this calm, sometimes funny style to the narration that gives the film's creatures a lot of character. And um, it's different from maybe a, a traditional style of narration. We, we didn't want the audience to take the characters in a way that seemed very aggressive. We wanted a style that was more soft and gentle. And I love the way that she brought that energy to the film. Seeing and um, especially seeing it on the IMAX theater or the big screen, you really just feel a part of it, like embodied. You're there with these mystical creatures doing all their fascinating things. I know that some people can be a little intimidated by the ocean, but I feel like like what this film says and does is there's so much beauty and um, wonder out there that it's, it's a great experience. Being able to capture on it with a digital camera as opposed to a 70 millimeter movie camera is it's enormous. A 70 millimeter camera runs for three minutes before you're out of film. So the animal behavior you capture, you've got three minutes of film to actually do that. That's gonna cost about $5,000 by the time you buy the film, process it, transfer it to a media that allows you to edit it. So it's also very, very expensive. And the camera makes a huge amount of noise. So if the animals you're filming are uh, sensitive to noise, they are not going to be in the film because by the time the camera ramps up to speed, they've already left. The digital camera, on the other hand, costs essentially nothing to operate, and we'll, the camera we're using runs for about 45 minutes before you need to change the card. It makes no sound. 
Uh, so what we're able to capture as far as behavior is concerned is just much more elaborate than what we could get in 70 millimeter. We have a wider selection of lenses. Uh, the camera smaller allows us to get into tighter places. There's just a huge number of advantages. So Secrets of the Sea will have animal behavior that we didn't even dream of doing when we were shooting in 70 millimeter. It was only in the last few years that digital camera technology has gotten good enough that it produces images that are as good as 70 millimeter film. So when that happened and the cameras got so much smaller um, and they could run longer and they had image quality that was just as good, there was really no reason to use film anymore. And there are so many great advantages that come with these new generation of cameras for a filmmaker. And one of those advantages is just being able to have more than one camera on a shoot. So because we could have two cameras, Howard and I could work together on a two camera shoot of a single subject with different lenses and different perspectives so that when you get back to the editing part, you can have a lot of options in putting the sequence together from one camera to the other, one lens to the other. So that was just another great advantage to the filmless workflow. The new generation of extremely high resolution digital cameras didn't just free us from the limitations of film, they also made the cameras smaller. More importantly, they gave us a wider selection of lenses and the ability to get in very close to things. So we have shots in the film, super close up macro shots of pygmy seahorses and all kinds of little things that were just not possible on film cameras. But one of the things that was, that I think is really a fun sequence in this film, so is the anemone fish with the eggs. That's a little bit different. It's a different take on the symbiotic relationship between the anemone fish and the anemones, but now you add the parenting aspect and their behavior in finding a place to lay their eggs and then watching the eggs develop and seeing their little beating hearts. And that's another example of something that you would not, I don't think would have been able to capture in the old ways of shooting IMAX films, you couldn't get those really tight close-up no. close shots of their little beating hearts. So that is, I think, a, uh, something that's wonderfully different about this film, that we, could, that we could capture that and show that minute bit of behavior. Working on Secrets was a wonderful experience. I, I, Getting a chance to do another giant screen film for me as a composer is always a wonderful experience because the images are larger than life and getting a chance to see the beautiful sequences that Howard and Jonathan captured was just a wonderful creative canvas for me as a composer to, to write music for. Both Howard and Jonathan, they communicated to me that, that this film was going to be not showing all of the predation that takes place under the sea as opposed to just the beauty and the symbiotic relationship that takes place with all the species. And they wanted the, the musical theme to kind of encapsulate that, the, the beauty of the ocean, the beauty of these creatures. And so, like I do on all films, I, I started by coming up with the main theme for the film. One of the great things about being a film composer is that it is a collaborative medium. I sit in my studio by myself and I write notes, put notes on a page. But those notes are inspired by great filmmakers, great performances by actors, great cinematographers, fantastic editors. And then after that music is created internally in my head for me, I then get to take it out to the world and have musicians share in that creation of recording it. And then when a film is released, we as the filmmakers and everyone that's a part of the team gets to share that collaborative experience again now with the world, with the audience. 
And it's so wonderful to experience that, to have something that begins alone in my studio that the world gets to share together. Secrets of the Sea is an unbelievable undersea adventure. And you can only see it in a giant screen theater where the image is bigger than life. So go check it out at your local giant screen.